Hello, my beautiful geeks. How is everybody doing today? And welcome to the Geek Fortress. And today I'm going to be bringing you my reaction and thoughts about the new killer called the Trickster for Dead by Daylight. For those of you guys who may or may not know, I have been starting to get a lot more into Dead by Daylight and I'm looking to play it more and stream it more. So if you guys want to check out one of the play or games that I did with my friends, uh, check out this card right above. So the new killer, this guy right here called the Trickster, and the um, survivor, whose name is slipping me right now, Young Jin Lee. That's her right there. So these are the two new guys. So this trailer kind of features both of them, and it's the official trailer that Dead by Daylight released today. Behavior. So without any further ado, we're gonna whoop it down there, and we're going to watch this right now. So let's get to it with a little whoosh, and get ready to watch. And then we'll see what we think. Let's hit it. Baby, I mean, okay, the trickster, come here, I just want to give you a kiss, consensually, powers shows to Star Trek, no way out, Star Trek, Starstruck, I'm really excited about that one, I'll explain in a minute. He looks great. It's, he's like the first killer who is like... I feel like he doesn't fit in, but at the same time, that's good. I don't know. That's a good thing. <laughs> that's such a Johnny Cage thing to do. I love it. Dead by Daylight, all kill. The Trickster and Yon Yin Lee. Coming soon. We still don't have a date, of course. Okay. And that's it. Alright. So... A couple of things that I want to go over, so let's just switch back real quick. So, there is that uh, one part called Starstruck that I'm really looking forward to, because when I play as a killer, a lot of people try to block you so you cannot hook somebody. Well, that is going to stop that, because it's going to expose that person or group of people who are actually doing it. Now, if you guys play uh, the player tester beta, the PTB, you know that they gather all this information and they actually buffed him. So now there are better perks for it. If you guys, if you guys want to read more about it, I'll put a link in the description below. But I'm really, really excited about this killer. I mean, he looks great. The survivor looks great. Um, the animations look great. Uh, I like his main power with the knives. Um, do I think his name should have been the trickster? Not really. I feel like they should have done another name rather than that so I, I don't know maybe the musician or something like that i don't know i think of trickster i think of loki i think like magic for some reason i don't know or maybe a magician something like that if he would have been a magician and then his name would have been the trickster then heck yeah i would have been all in but i feel like that was a uh, misnaming but who knows maybe i'm wrong and i'm going to really really dig it and get it more why he is named the trickster i mean he he He's a trickster, I guess. And then the survivor looks really cool. Their backstory is crazy. So they used to be in a K-pop group. And then he just kind of went cuckoo. There was a fire. Everybody dead. Super dead. And then she just ran away. And it's so weird because her perks kind of match with that. One of her perks, it's I believe it's called On My Own or something. Thank you. Self-preservation. See, I have a team in the background that tells me when I'm wrong. And self-preservation, it's all about yourself. It's trying to help yourself. So I'm really excited about that one. Um, but I think the thing I'm excited the most is about the killer. Because I really like what they're doing with him. He looks great, like I said before. Um, I know the community, a lot of the community find some of the characters pretty. So I think this is one of those characters that they're definitely fighting pretty. Um, if you guys already saw some of the comments that people are leaving about him. They are very, very, very... <sighs> Thirsty. So yeah, and <laughs> I'm excited about it. I played some of the uh, PTV, not a lot of it. I played like two games for each because it was impossible to get into a game almost. But it was a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's it's fun to see killers, but now I'm just hoping that the next killer hopefully is a franchise killer. I'm, like, I really want something good for the fifth year anniversary. There was a lot of rumors out there. 
from some of the uh, Dead by Daylight people, such as Bali, the King, everybody. And they have some things, that it might be Resident Evil, it might be this, maybe that. I don't think it's going to be any of that, to be honest with you. But hopefully it is something huge. And we have some good stuff coming up with the Halloween because they renew the license. So hopefully we can look at a tome just for Halloween. That's what the rumors are saying in the back alleys of the fog. So we don't know. We don't know yet. But it's a good time to get into the game. If you have not checked out the game, I want to put in here a one minute review that I did for it many years ago when it first came out. So things have changed a bit and my rating for it now, it's definitely like a 10 out of 10 for the game. Maybe a 9 just because some of the people are very, very toxic. You know who you are. And that's on both sides, the killer and the survivor. So either way, it's a fun game. If you haven't picked it up, I highly recommend that you do if you're into horror, if you like certain franchises such as Halloween, Michael Myers, um, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Stranger Things, among others, you should really, really check it out. It's a good way to play with friends and get angry together, love each other together. Sometimes you get good games, sometimes you get bad games. Like I said, if you check out that play that I did with friends, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you guys want to check out another channel that does more, uh, playthroughs and stuff with Day by Daylight, definitely check out my wife Angie Plays, as well as my friend Karen over at Raven, and I'll put all those links down below so you guys can check them out as well. Great content, they're just getting started, so we would love if you guys go support them as well. But with all that said, guys, what do you guys think about the Trickster? What do you think about the new Survivor? Let me know in the comments section below. Is this your first time playing Dead by Daylight? Hopefully, after watching my video, some of you guys who have seen me playing other games can see this and be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to check it out. So we're going to have some, a, some few live streams coming out for this as well. So make sure you subscribe, you turn on that notification bell, so you do not miss any uploads. Watch your boy. As per usual, you guys have been awesome. Do me a favor, guys. Stay awesome and geek on. Until the next time, this is your boy Louis saying, see you in the fog. Thanks.